All right, all right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I am Kim Warner, and I am just going to talk with you a little bit about some karmic fate that we are um, entering in, or we're actually in, according to yesterday and today, is karmic fate. And that fate means that whatever is happening is part of our destiny. And so there we have no worry. Now I was studying a little bit earlier about the North Nodes and they are in Sagittarius and um, uh, Gemini. And um, you could have um, the cup looking upward or downward, the straight line um, in Sagittarius or Gemini would you know whether or not you are um, in that uh, time or season of transition or um, transformation. Um, the, the reason why I wanted to come on and just give some information on this is because um, I've been hearing the scripture for the last past week or so, um, behold, I stand at the door and knock, and I was like, okay, how does that attribute to what we're going through? And a lot of times, consciously, you can't um, really implement ideas and um, thoughts until spirit has integrated it for you to explain to individuals as well as explain to yourself that um, the transition uh, has to do with you knowing that you're not alone and that spirit is at the door with the door open allowing you to come on in and um, follow. Um, while I'm saying this, I wanna give credit to the music in the background. Um, it's a no copyright music by um, Chill Out Acoustic. Um, they are um, some awesome uh, uh, writers or um, the music is awesome. So Chill Out Records, you know, go on YouTube and subscribe to them. I like their beat very nice and um, positive energy coming from it. So the scripture is in um, Revelations chapter three, and it says, uh, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And a lot of people, you know, reference scriptures from the Bible as religious, but it's not, you know, the scriptures come to give us guidance. Um, if you ever studied, and some people have never studied the Bible or the Quran or you know, whatever the faith may have been in the area of um, the world that they lived in, but they may hear that intuitive voice that is trying to get in touch with them saying, you know, I stand at the door and knock, or I stand here and I'm with you to let you know that even in your um, times and seasons when it feels like all the world is coming up against you or you have no one, spirit is with you and willing to um, help you through the situation. And some of our situation is not threatening. Some of it is just that we're facing um, changes that we don't anticipate, we don't know about, and that means that our faith has to definitely kick in. And so um, I give credit to some of the sisters that I work with, um, Nyla uh, Oni Banks, who is, um, she's got her YouTube goddess uh, channel, and then um, Kamoy Knight for your inner voice the number four, and some more that are coming on. So we are building um, a positive network to help the women and men that are experiencing the, the God and the goddess rising in this time of Venus retrograde. It's not been easy for um, a lot of people, but this is where we are. So behold, I stand at the door and knock in um, chapter three. And it, it alludes to um, a door being open, no doubt, and um, an entrance way for someone to uh, take hold of and let go of the past. And so in that, what I was looking at is um, myself, you know, those that I've worked with in the last month, and the, the world, what we see having going on. And in this here time, there is a judgment that's going on in the world and not just in the world, but it's also working in our communities and in our families. Um, how we uh, work with that is um, discerning and understanding the time, and that's what judgment is. It is discerning and working with the time 
that is saying that I need to make changes because if I don't make the changes that spirit is offering me, then I'll still be in an old timeline. So judgment is not always what people believe. Of course, we choose our fate and it could be good or bad depending on how we choose people. We're in a timeline where we're crossing over into some new thoughts and new ideas, even with um, the idea of um, having to have been isolated for three months and then um, the people were, um, you know, released by the um, political leaders of the United States and um, over the world. Um, it, whether it was ready to be a release or not. So let's just look at that for a minute. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And so in um, your spirit, many people know whether it's time for them to go back into the world and live as they used to. Many know um, within their spirit what they should be doing. And then there is your judgment concerning what others are saying um, and what um, you feel you need to do because you either serve a mortal God or an immortal God. And this is, you know, God of the whole creations that have given us, you know, the power of breath to breathe, to speak, to think, and to discern and judge for ourselves. So we can look at things from that perspective. And so um, anyone that has looked beyond the judgment or the thoughts of God will see something in the next two to three months that will let them know whether their decision was right or wrong. That's worldly. You know, if your spirit told you not to go back to work per se, and you decided to do it because everyone else is doing it, then you're not actually being authentic to your own self. And so judgment comes in that fashion. Then we also have people that um, know that they, have accountability and responsibility to others. They know this, but they choose to do otherwise. And so what happens is, is that judgment comes upon them because of that. So in this season, and it's a fated time, that means that people are sealing their fate for situations to occur, whether bad or, or good, you know, however it is. And we do have free will, but that free will does not give us the ability to um, escape judgment. So judgment is simply making the wrong decision in a time that you are given grace to make the right decision. And then if I go back and I say, well, there's no right and wrong, we could take right and wrong out of there. But the thing is, is that you're going to feel some kind of way if things are not flowing properly in your life. You're going to feel like something is wrong, and then you will know that you have allowed judgment into your life. And so those that follow, as I gave the scripture, behold, I stand at the door and knock, those that follow that word, which is your spirit authentically, um, you're knowing, knowing that you're doing the right thing in the way that you go. You're praying, you're fasting for guidance and direction you won't be led astray. And um, one of the things that um, sealed the deal is I began to um, see spirit, you know, showing me energy lines um, uh, of people going through a door and then a door was closed. The door that was open um, for the people to go in, there was a lot of light and it, it, you know, more and more as they traveled through the door, I could see more and more light. But those that stayed in this here space where they were doubting what they should do, they were in a doorway that closed and darkness was over there. So I said, you know, what do you want me to do with this? And of course we want to record, but there's times that, you know, we just keep the information to ourselves because we want to make sure that it's time to release it. Well, you know, I was told to go ahead and release this and I have no fear of that. I have no fear that it's some people that are actually trying to understand what's going on and there's a lot of dynamics in the universe that's going on, a lot of energy that's called, causing push and pull, a lot of energy that's causing us uh, to be tired, to feel um, 
you know, some kind of way that's not normal, but that energy is also depleting us of old stuff. So again, I stand at the door and knock. I knock to, to allow and assist you to release old so that new can continuously come in and then you are transformed. It's like the butterfly. The butterfly is not a butterfly until it goes through the transformation to become one. And in that, we have to understand that it also is um, an understanding that the butterfly has felt some discomfort. It could be maximum discomfort because from um, you know that look of a caterpillar to the beauty that the butterfly um, gives, it's um, phenomenal. So there is discomfort in transition or transformation when you're elevating. The key is to um, stay in that peaceful place. And these things that, you know, I discuss is not something that you can do of yourself. If you did it of yourself, then you would be living like mm, the people before the Spirit of God came upon them, which was Moses' era, you know. People were talking the talk, but they had not begun to walk the walk. You can try to keep yourself from being um, in um, political scandals or infidelity, but you can't do that because the discipline that you need, it has to come from your spiritual connection. Therefore, you have to tap in and begin to rehearse daily and practice the spiritual practice of prayer and meditation, which gives you strength, fortified strength to overcome temptations when they come. You know that if you do something out of order or say if you abuse someone, that you felt bad after you did it. You didn't feel bad probably while you were doing it because there's a part of you that has maybe um, been um, violated in that way. Or even it could be uh, something from the ancestry uh, bloodline. But the thing is, is that when you see that it is not right, you can make a judgment on making the change in your life. And this is what everybody all over the world is being called to do. Make a decision on right and wrong for you. What's right and wrong so that you can live a healthier life. You know, I study behaviors. I'm in my um, first year of my PsyD for um, behavior uh, facilitations. And you know, a lot of people, well, a few people have asked what this ID is. It's simply a PhD, and I don't have to do the dissertation, but, you know, I've made it a life course to study behaviors because it didn't start with people, it started with me. You know, I wanted to know why I had the problems that I did and, you know, why I did some of the things that I did, why I said some of the things, or even why I was so introverted and I just didn't want to give an expression to my inner thoughts, and it had to do with things that I came here to work out. So in the time of that, um, I found that I was being judged on things that I knew, things that I did not know. So um, what we do is learn to do better. And when we learn to do better, we uh, are able to judge better concerning our lives. That's across the board. You know, if you um, had debt, you know, there is karmic um, challenges there because you put yourself in a position of debt and you are able to learn how to get out of debt. The, 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 the karmic issues with debt is simply constantly desiring to get um, credit cards and make bills. So you uh, ask God to help you, goddess. However, you pray and you uh, meditate to um, take you into the, the place of resolve and understanding why you have um, accumulated any kind of debt uh, so that you can understand how to get out of it so you can get the relief from the karmic pressure of being in debt. And so that's a good example. And um, it's across the board. Whatever you do that causes um, pain to yourself and others is something you want to learn how to get balance in. And this is not you, it's me, but I'm talking to you. Um, whoever needs this information, because a lot of people want karma to come on um, people that they've hurt, but they don't realize, or people that have hurt them, but they don't realize that they, they actually hurt themselves. How is that? They hurt themselves because of the choices that they made, you know? And if we take responsibility for choices, 
that we may, we can switch over and do better. All right. So behold, I stand at the door and knock. Um, the spirit is with us that have been working and praying. And I'm not saying it's not with anybody else. The spirit is always there. There's an unconditional love that is given to everyone. The thing about unconditional love is before we meet with unconditional love, most of us have put conditions on love. And that's because we've lived in this world. So in a judgment situation here, because I judged how I should give love, then that's how love would come to me. If I just love unconditionally, eventually the tables are going to turn and all of the love that I've given out in the world is going to be reciprocated back to me. But I first need to love myself and understand what love is. So again, behold, I stand at the door and knock. We're not alone because love has been knocking at the door for you to answer, to take you to the next level. And those that need to come with you will possibly follow. Or you're going to get new people that are going to come into your experience because as I saw it, the door was open. But I chose to go in and see what was going on. I see more light. That means that there is more health, more wealth, more productivity, more blessings because there's light and the door is shut on darkness. All right. So you guys have a wonderful day. And remember that when spirit is calling you, the door is open for the next level or of exchange. It's just up to us to take that step. How do we do it? In the mind and in the heart. Bring the mind and the heart together in unity. And the heart is the core of who we are. Do I want to stay in a place where, you know, I feel like I'm just suffering? No. And that's a mindset. I want to cross over into the next level of my life. And so I take that um, faithful step to go on over and be the next part of who I was called to be. All right. And so you can email me at ifwbuilding at gmail.com. We have a class coming up. Um, I think we're going to do it on North Nose Farm and South Nose on Friday. That's going to help a lot of people. And um, it will be at 2 o'clock Pacific. If you want to be a part, it's going to be $45 for you to be in. It's an hour long. And um, you can send that payment to uh, Cash App uh, IFW Building. And that would be me and Prophetess Moy, who is on YouTube with four, the number four, your inner voice. She does her uh, tarot readings and she's phenomenal at it. And we have some other people coming on to be of assistance to you because we're in um, a time where change is not going behind, backwards, it's going forward. It's a new world. It's a new way of doing things. A new economy is coming. Behold, I stand at the door and knock for you to understand that new things have come and the old truly has gone, but have you released the old? So again, Friday at two o'clock Pacific. If you send your payment now, you'll get a link by Thursday evening, um, letting you into the class for Friday at two. Blessings, and this is gonna be on the North and South nodes to give an understanding of those um, that information and what the mission is about um, concerning you and where you're going. All right. Have a blessed day and thank you so much.